again, eyes will be towards the skies. That's because the Wings Over Houston Air Show will be in town. Always exciting. Channel 2's Chip Brewster, Chip Brewster got a head start on some of the action. He caught up with a pilot who's going to be showing off his high-flying stunts at the show. Chip's joining us live tonight at Ellington Airport. Chip, what gear, gear you got to go up there? I did, lucky me, I got to experience it firsthand because right now all the different teams that are involved with the air show are out here practicing. You know, this weekend is going to be filled with big planes, with small planes, with World War II era planes. The Navy Blue Angels is in town. And then there's this guy. I know the biplane doesn't look like much, but you put the right guy behind that stick and prepare to have your jaw dropped. Meet Sean. I'm a sky dancer. D. I'm a barnstormer. Tucker. I'm thrilling in the sky. Aerobatic pilot. My whole job, my whole purpose is to throw the audience. And I do it with this little flying machine called the Oracle Challenger. Sean is taking part in the 32nd annual Wings Over Houston at Ellington Airport. Dive it back around to the ground, and then we're going to snap it. Okay, right now, that's 7G. He's been performing for 40 years, and you won't believe how he got into it. And I started flying aerobatics to conquer a fear of flight. I would say fear conquered. Yeah, baby! Not impressed yet? Try this one on for size. Here we go! Right stick, right rudder, left rudder, forward stick, down we go, around and through. <laughs> if you thought that was cool, check out how he says goodbye to us. I want to see all my friends at KPRC there. Take care! And if you're planning to head out this weekend down here to Ellington Airport, then you'll want to know gates open at 8 and close at 6, both days, Saturday and Sunday. If you want to see Sean do his thing in person, you'll want to be here about 145 both days. More information, of course, at click2houston.com. Now, Bill, you had mentioned, yes, I was lucky enough to go up. That's, in fact, how he captured some of that amazing footage in the story. <laughs> but if you want to see the behind the scenes, you're going to have to go check out my Facebook page, KPRC2 Chip Brewster. I promise you it is well worth the visit. And, hey, like it while you're there. Yep. Reporting live from Ellington Airport, Chip Brewster, KPRC, Channel 2 Well, News. before you go, we want to know if you if you lost your lunch, if you lost <laughs> yeah. your lamb legs, that, what happened to feel? you? You know, what's, what's funny, so my photographer Giovanni and I were talking about beforehand going up like a little worry. He waited till afterwards to eat. I ate half of my sandwich, <laughs> so that way if I lost it, I'd have the other half. But fortunately, I ate the whole sandwich in the end, so no. we. But of course, we weren't in this plane doing the twists and turns, so lucky us, we had a much smoother ride than what Sean would have given us firsthand. I like that lunch strategy, Chip. Yeah. All right.